In this video, we're going to learn how to reflect points across the x-axis and the y-axis. And we're going to do it visually, so we've got this graph on the right of our screen. And then I'll also explain to you guys a shortcut in case you don't want to have to graph it out every time. So what we're going to do is we want to reflect the point 2, 3 across the x-axis and the y-axis. So let's first plot this point. So we're going to do 2, 3. So let me just draw some tick marks in here. So we've got 2. And then one, two, three, we're going to go up to three. And let's plot this point in yellow so it's easier to see. So we've got this point right here in yellow. And first we're going to reflect it across the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. So we kind of just want to mirror it across the x-axis. So if we mirror that across the x-axis, we're just going to flip it vertically, right? So it has to be the same distance away from the x-axis, but on the bottom. So it's going to be down here. So now over here I'm going to write reflect across x-axis and that's going to be our pink point and I'll draw the tick marks in so we go one two three it just goes down to the point two comma negative three so when you reflect something across the x-axis you may notice that the y-coordinate changes signs so I'm gonna write that the y-coordinate changes signs and what I mean is that originally our y coordinate was positive 3, but when we reflect it across the x axis, it becomes negative 3. The x coordinate stays the same, and the y coordinate flips signs. So that's the shortcut you can use if you don't actually want to graph it. So now we're going to reflect the yellow point across the y axis. So this is the y axis right here. So we're going to mirror it horizontally across the y-axis, and if we do that, our point's going to end up right here. And if I add some tick marks right here, this is going to be at an x-coordinate of negative 2. So the coordinates of that blue point are negative 2, comma 3. And what you might notice is that when you reflected the point across the y-axis, the x-coordinate changes signs. So our original x-coordinate was 2, but when we reflected it across the y-axis, our x-coordinate is now negative 2. The y-coordinate stays as it is. So I'm going to say that one more time. When you reflect something across the x-axis, the y-coordinate flips signs. So if it were positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. When you reflect a point across the y-axis, the x-coordinate changes signs. So if it was initially positive, it's now negative. If it were initially negative, it's now positive. Let's go over one more example just to make sure we've got this down. So for the second example, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own, and then you can watch me work through it to make sure that we've solved it correctly. So first, let me just put some tick marks on here. So we've got one. We'll go negative one, two, three, four. We'll just go four in every direction this time. And sorry, it's a little bit hard to see the numbers, but just know that every block on our grid is going to be one unit. So one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And now let's start by plotting our given points. So we have the point negative one, comma four. So we're gonna go negative one on the x and four up on the y, and we're gonna get this point right here. So now let's reflect across the x-axis first, sorry, across x-axis, and we're going to do it visually. So this is the x-axis, so we're just going to reflect it across the x-axis, and if we do that, we're going to get the point negative 1, comma, negative 4, so it's going to be down here. So remember, it just has to be the same distance from the x-axis, it's just going to be on the opposite side of the graph. So when we reflected it across the x-axis, we got the point negative 1 comma negative 4. And remember the shortcut is that we just changed the sign. So we changed the sign, sorry, of the y coordinate. That is our shortcut. We keep the sign the same of the x coordinate, change the sign of the y coordinate. So now let's reflect it across the y axis. Again, I'll do it visually, then I'll explain how to use the shortcut. So this is the y axis, and we're going to be reflecting this yellow point. So it's going to end up right here, which is the point 1, 4. So we changed the sign of the x-coordinate. So it was originally negative, and now it's positive. 
So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to reflect points across the x and y axis. You can always just plot them or you can remember that if you're reflecting a point across the x axis, you just want to flip the sign of the y coordinate. And if you're reflecting a point across the y axis, you just want to flip the sign of the x coordinate.